Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that's Moodle and Moodle for Teachers. Moodle for Teachers Evo started in 2012, and um, it's been going strong. Uh, we always get a lot of participants, sometimes uh, in thousands, sometimes in hundreds, but it's always exciting because um, of the participants and the moderators who make it really, really special. So let's take a look at a little bit about um, Moodle for Teachers Evo 21. There were three moderators this year, Eva from Poland, Harshita from India, and myself. A little bit about each one of us, you, know, you can read. I've been involved in Moodle since 2003. I'm an admin and I support schools and teachers on how to use Moodle and how to install Moodle and so on. But my life is not only about Moodle. I've been teaching English for over 40 years to um, young learners, K-12, as well as adult learners at university. But uh, behind the scenes, I'm involved with a great deal of technology as well as mindfulness. And I teach everything that I know. Uh, Harshita Kapoor, also moderated the session. This is, uh, I think, her third year moderating Moodle for Teachers. She started out as a student of Moodle, and she's come a long way. Uh, she's based in India, and she's um, a tech person. We also have Eva, who uh, comes to us from Poland. She's currently doing her PhD. She started as a Moodler. She learned about Moodle on Moodle for Teachers, and she tries to give back to the community as much as she can by moderating the sessions. Some of the technologies that we used was Flipgrid, Vimeo, Screencast-O-Matic, Voki Canvas, Wakelet, Miro Padlet, Google Docs, Zoom Jitsi, and Microsoft Teams. Now, these are all tools that are available on the Moodle. Some of them we bring and some of them we add to the Moodle. But what's um, exciting about all the tools is that the participants actually teach one another as they learn. It's uh, peer learning where they team up and at the end of um, the session, they actually create their own Moodle course. And the course is a collaborative course where each of the team members create one section of the course. They create a syllabus and um, a contract on how to work on a team. So you can see that this is uh, what the Moodle has. There are sections for each week. And there's also the left where participants can connect with each other. They also see the badges that they will get. There's a list of the Zoom meetings that we had. We had five Zoom meetings, but the participants also had their own weekly meetings to work on what they were going to do that week. They uh, worked by creating videos of um, what they learned as they learned it. So they created a lot of video tutorials. They created presentations as well, and they shared it with one another. And it's never boring because everybody has their own perspective on how they view things. They also created team policies, I said, in the course syllabus, and they worked on their individual sections as they recorded. Week one was the introduction where they learned about each other and the platform, and they teamed up. These are the digital badges, the five badges that they received at the end of the session, well, for each week, and then the final certificate of completion. And, um, and that's it. They got the badges and they got the certificate, and they're really exciting, the feedback is amazing and it's also available on Flipgrid and anyone can um, learn more about it. And I hope you join us next year. It's not really only about Moodle and teaching on Moodle. It's about uh, engaging with other teachers and learning how to teach with technology uh, in various age groups. So it's really about the process and it's a lot of fun, it is. Participants spend hours because they, they, they have such a good time. And that's what Evo is about. It's about learning, having fun, and connecting with educators from around the globe.